Hello guys, hope you're doing well. So this video is, we're gonna rebuild this rig. I removed all the components already from the GPU and we're gonna set it up for KS0 Pro. Let's get it done. <music> this box slightly rebuilt uh, I have this by eight and a quarter inch tool no eight and one eight because uh, our K0 pros are seven and seven eight almost so we'll have a quarter inch space just in case uh, wiggle room and then we have I have this cut all this seven and three quarter inch plus uh, pieces that I'm gonna separate each of my seven liners and we're just gonna screw it in and I'll have the spacers kind of set up so I can put them, they don't shake around. I cut this at 45 so I have the wind kind of, the air flow out pretty easily there. And that's pretty much it, so let's get it built. ready with our box for how should we call it a minor box ice river box okay well it's not ice so I know a lot of you don't like the boot boxes because the boot and mining kind of like doesn't go together and I'm, I'm on the same page it should be all fireproofed and all that but uh, it's I feel kind of safe with the temperatures we have in or uh, if you're using the right stuff, you shouldn't have any fire set up. But yes, definitely uh, consider that if you uh, don't like the boots. So yes, we did set up all the seven uh, sort of recessed uh, spaces for Ice River. And then I have on the top, you know, same way set up all the seven to match the bottom. So once we close this cover, we'll have them pretty much between those uh, Let's see if you could see that right there, right? So it will be set just right here, right inside that box uh, in that space. I did have this attached so it doesn't slide out. Uh, so in order to do any service, I guess you'll have to kind of lift up this, unscrew the, the top and lift it up and pull, pull the KS0 out of it, KS0 Pro, right? So. A K0 will fit in that as well. So it's designed for seven, kind of made it for seven. So each fan blowing on each, each one of them. So it's seven fans. I'm gonna have one 
server PSC on this side. I'm gonna run all of them on 12 volts. And I'm gonna add one more from the rig, uh, from my heater from over there, right? So it will be added there. By the way, I got some package just right now. So it's a different heat sinks uh, from one I've, I've, I've got before. This one is actually, um, I'm gonna show you one. I'm gonna probably install them see how much taller they are I like them a lot better they're about uh, I want to say about 10 double the 14 probably mil on the height the other one only five so it should take a lot more heat out of the MOSFETs you know so hopefully it will work Basically, all my uh, K0 Pros got in the place. They're pretty unshakable here. All right, so they're pretty good. Um, fixed in those um, cutouts, uh, niches, all right. And then I have all the power cables they are running kind of below the fence. So they should not be on the way of the air. And I have these two power sensors, I mean the temperature sensors on number one, number four again. Uh, I may change that to this last one later, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it from this side. So the power supply needs to be all connected. And then I have on one side connected four of them. So in the sequence one, two, three, four, so I know which one to disconnect in order I need to restart. And same thing from this side, five, six, seven. So um, all the connections here is gonna be accessible only if you remove the cover, I guess. So I have to kind of have that ready. And if I need service, obviously I can remove it, but I need to organize this uh, fan cables a little bit, strap it more and make it nice and neat. And so the box will be ready to power up. I'm gonna bring the power uh, to my guys guess what 70 pounds 70.8 pounds for this box with seven ks0 pros it's about 25 pounds without a k0 pro and with a 70 pounds 
All right, guys, so we're ready to fire up this rig. Basically, it's a 7 k Zero Pro rig. We have a Ethernet cable, plugged in power, main, all the connectors plugged in here. We check the power on the other side to the miners. To k Zero, we have power cable plugged into our uh, server PSUs. So I have the, on one I left this uh, power meter, on number one, K0 Pro, and I have this side, uh, start to put in these grills. I'm gonna need to organize these fence wires and let's, uh, let's start it. All right, so we up, power up this, all the fence running. Uh, so we just connect it to our 120 volt for now. So we'll be start hashing pretty soon. Let's make sure our power supply on on both sides. Okay. Let's make sure all of the miners on. Okay, all seven on. All right, we have a <clears throat> fans probably just started on the speed. Yeah, about 1500 CFM. And 2700 CFM on the first side. So let's check it out. The, what do we have on the wind here? All right, to be honest, we have a lot less air coming through. Which I don't really like. Six miles per hour between them. And inside, what we need really is only about four, four point two, four point three, almost five miles per hour. But not quite six we had before, almost eight miles per hour. <clears throat> so we'll have to adjust the fan speeds probably. Uh, let's have this uh, rig run for a little bit and we'll see if we need to adjust the fan speeds. We probably need to because right now it's running in a little bit lower rate. All right, guys, I've been running this for over four hours now. Uh, let's check some temperatures and some reading. Uh, I did had to modify a little bit. I added a little diffusers there. I don't know if you can see in the back there. Basically, it's a little bit of coil I bended at the angle between each fan. So it's sending all the air into the miner, into the inside now. Still, silicon completely dries, and this guy running at 340 GL. All right, and it's about 52. So everything else seems to be cool. The wires here, the temperature is pretty constant. There is nothing overheats. About 40 degrees there. All miners pretty much stable. 
you could see three on the right it's one uh, one two and three are on the faster speed because of the overclocks I have on 340 and there I have running a little bit faster speed on the fence but 3000 2700 rpm right now and this side is about uh, I believe 2000 or less let's check it out so the first side we have uh, 3400 30, 34 almost right and the second 22 about a thousand rpm more on this side that's why this all uh, a little bit cooler all right so let's look at the web buoy so number one minor this one runs on the 340 gl and you could see the temperatures nice and steady 45 28 similar i'm not getting all the way to 340 it's running about 320 uh, now let's take a look at my five and six. I mean six and seven. This is number six Look how low the temperature dropped to 40 degree and it's only at 2000 rpm fans and this one is 39 degree And the fans are only running at 2000 uh, internal fans are run at 90% on bosom I believe right yeah 90% bosom and uh internal fan 100% on my overclock <coughs> 340 excuse me so that's about it for this video i hope you guys like it this transformation to the box